Hello, my wonderful viewers. Today, instead of a Todd tale, I'm doing an original story. This one's called A Strange But Familiar World. Last night, I went to bed, my parents staying up late for an unknown reason. This morning, I woke up to the sound of them cooking in the kitchen. It was strange. I always woke up before them. Maybe they didn't even go to sleep. When I went to the kitchen to see what they were doing, I didn't find them. I found their doppelgangers. My dad's doppelganger smiled. A fake smile from a fake person pretending to know me. Ben, come on over and get some breakfast. I went to the counter to see what these things had made. Eggs, bacon, sausage, pancakes, hash browns. There wasn't an open spot on the counter. They couldn't have fooled me. My parents never made breakfast like this. A plate with an omelette overstuffed with cheese and some toast covered in jelly was violently shoved in my face. I already made a plate for you. My mom's doppelganger stood there, a fake smile on her fake face as well. Her eyes were evil. I took the plate and sat down at the kitchen table. My parents' doppelganger sat down, staring at me. When I graduated from high school, said my dad's doppelganger, I had a big party with all my friends. We got so drunk that night. My mom's doppelganger glared at the other doppelganger. Nobody's going to be drinking anything tonight. You only graduate high school once, my dad's doppelganger winked at me. Nobody, myself included, had eaten anything. It looked delicious, but I had to wonder what these doppelgangers wanted and where my parents were. Maybe they were going to kill me and replace me too. Nobody would know what happened and they could get away with whatever terrible plan they had. I hope you really like that omelet, Ben. I threw in all your favorite cheeses, said my mom's doppelganger. How strange it was that she was just about force-feeding me this food. She really wanted me to eat it. It looks really good, I lied. There was no way I would eat whatever they put in front of me. Uh, but I need to go to the bathroom really quick. I'll be right back. I went to my bathroom and shut the door loudly from the outside. Then I went to my parents' room and shut the door quietly. If they came to attack me, then I would have a chance to escape. Eventually, I would escape and get help, but I needed proof they were doppelgangers, or at least that my parents were gone. There wasn't any possibility they would hide my parents' bodies in the house, but I thought they could have left something behind from their attack, something covered in blood, a weapon, ripped clothing, anything. Before I could search, I saw a strange uh, guy in the corner of the room. I almost yelled in surprise but clamped my hands over my mouth. I couldn't let those evil things in the kitchen know where I was. The guy covered his mouth as well. Could he be a victim? Would those evil things be so careless as to bring him here? Don't say anything, I whispered. They took my parents. I can get you out of here. He did nothing. So terrified, he was scared stiff. I couldn't risk his life. We had to get out now and get help. I went over to him and reached out to grab him. He reached out to grab me. At least I wouldn't have to drag him out through the window. Our fingers touched. And there was a weird feeling. His fingers felt like glass. This wasn't another guy. It was a mirror. I was so scared I didn't even notice it. But the guy in the mirror, he wasn't me. It was certainly a mirror. Every movement matched mine exactly. He looked exactly like me, but he wasn't me. How can a mirror show another person? Somebody knocked on the door. He was my dad's doppelganger. Uh, ben, what are you doing in there? Are you all right? My parents had been replaced by some evil things I didn't know. And in the mirror looking back at me was somebody I didn't know. There was only one possibility. I had been replaced too.